guys, welcome to another Pokemon card ASMR opening. Today I have two boxes of Shiny Treasure EX. Now what makes this set of cards so special is that it has Shiny Pokemon inside, meaning that not just the card is Shiny, but the Pokemon itself is Shiny, meaning it's a different color. There are some pretty cool cards in this set. The ones I'm after the most are the special art. Mew, and also the regular full art Clive, and the special art Red Clive. God damn, if I got any of these three cards. In all honesty, I think I'ma lose my shit. I actually have opened up quite a few boxes of these already, so I'm gonna make this my final opening of this particular set. The reason is, I'm starting to get doubles, and the more boxes I open, the more dangerous it gets. And you know what else is dangerous? The World Wide Web. But thanks to today's video sponsor NordVPN, browsing the internet is a much safer experience. Lately, I've been finding it pretty hard to concentrate and get my work done at home. So I like to go out and do my work at cafes where I connect to the cafe's public Wi-Fi. But unfortunately, when using public Wi-Fi, it puts me at risk from weirdos and criminals on the interwebs. They're trying to steal my personal information and upload malware onto my computer. But luckily, NordVPN has my back. By connecting to NordVPN, they encrypt all the data coming in and out of my computer, which makes it incredibly difficult to intercept or steal all my sweet, sweet private information. NordVPN's threat protection also helps to protect you from malware by scanning all the files that you download and checking for dangerous websites. It also blocks those annoying pop-up ads. All it takes is one click of a button to connect, and NordVPN does all the work for you. One NordVPN account can be used on up to six devices, so you can stay protected on your computer, smartphone, tablet, and even some TVs. If you're interested, you can use my link down in the description below, or you can use my code Perth at the checkout to get an extra four months on a two-year subscription. It comes out to be $2.91 per month, which in my opinion is some pretty good value. It's also a great way to support my YouTube channel and get a great deal with the world's fastest VPN. Also, if you get NordVPN and you decide it's not for you, don't worry, they have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So it's risk-free. Thank you, NordVPN, for sponsoring this video. Now back to some sweet, sweet Pokemon card ASMR. Now, let's begin with the opening. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm going to do a bit of a different opening style today. I'm going to be opening the cards, like, right next to my face, right here, as opposed to having it on a different camera. Let me know if you like it or not. smell. So there are 10 packs in each box. We have two boxes, so that's 20 packs we're going to be opening today. Pack number one. So I'll just get those out of the way. Alright. We got a Pidgey. Smolev. Umi Dikuda. It's pretty funny because its name in Japanese just means Sea Diglet. Speaking of diglets, we got a bad boy right behind me. Uh, it's Wiglet. Got Electrode. Sexy future man scientist. Whoopa. Alright, here we go, people. Three, two, one. Like when you look at the card like this, yes, it looks very cool. But in this set, 
of amazing shiny Pokemon cards. This is what we call a trash monster. Moving on, pack number two. Psychic bird chick. We just call this guy awful. Now, as I always say, if this is your favorite Pokemon, I'm sorry, man, but this and what it evolves into is nasty. Infernape. Big Pulse. Nice. See, that's what I'm talking about. Now, here's the thing. I am not sure if I have this card or not. Let me check if I doubled up. Why did this happen to me? I made my mistakes. Got nowhere to run. My God damn it. This is what I'm talking about. I'm you guys it's not safe out here on the internet you're gonna double up you're gonna get the same cards and this is where buyer's remorse really starts to set in you're like should i have bought more of these cards and the answer is yes because i do enjoy making these asmr card openings but my feelings they are hurt well not really because they didn't do anything wrong i did it to myself but still come on man doubles there's like a bajillion of these and i gotta pull the same one that being said, I will sleeve this bad boy. Shiny Sableye. Okay, pack number three. exist. Alright. Snowfoot and alright, here we go. Three, two, one. Okay. Let me just do the groove check. Oh that's smooth. I can feel it. It's it's smooth trash people. It's just by the way the good cards um they have little crinkle grooves on them. That's how you know they're good. So sometimes I like to build up my own excitement by doing a little, giving a little rub. What I mean is just touching a little bit and seeing if I can feel it, because if it's smooth, I know it's garbage. It's trash. It's crap. It's worthless. It's nothing. Pack number four. It's a lot harder to open packets of cards this way. Alright, take three cards from the back. Alright, we got Pidgeotto. Charmeleon, nice. First gen pokes. A Snova. An Entei. Vile Bloom. Classic. Really like that run of Pokemon. See, this is um, a bad habit of gamblers or nerds, I guess, is that you're looking for anything that could be a good sign and you just make things up. And um, I just got a good one. Those are fantastic first gen pokes. So, nice. I am 85% sure I don't have this. Fortress, shiny fortress, 
I'm a Gen 2 fan myself, so pulling this fortress means not a lot to me, but it's pretty damn cool. I was going to say it means a lot to me, and I was like, dude, what are you even saying? What do you mean it means a lot to you? It didn't do anything for you, but it is Gen 2, and it's pretty cool. Okay, and it's just a pretty card, to be honest. Hell yeah. I'll just double check if I have it or not, just to be safe. I can confirm that no, I do not have this card. Fantastic. Pack number five. Tandem House. I can't remember its name, but it's a cute little croissant kind of dog. Sign there. I'm sorry if that was cringe, but that's how it sounds in the anime. I think his name is like from from I mean me mom's car from from <laughs> It's a classic fine Get out me car or oh, don't worry about it. If you know you know Alright Got a drift Bloom Bloom Actually this Pokemon is kind of funny because it's a ghost Pokemon, and it's kind of like, um, it tries to find little children, and gets them to hold its hand, and then it takes them away, and they never come back. So, yeah, sometimes Pokemon can actually be pretty messed up. G times, alright, three, two, one. So, I pulled the card like this. I didn't even hear grooves, that's how in June I am with these cards. Yeah, that's smooth as hell. I don't ever throw the cards, because it's disrespectful. I only throw the packets. But I got real close just then. Pack number six. Salt star. Oh, I should just do it like this. Pikachu. It's like Archipax or something. It's not one of my fave pokes. Solo Bro Classic. Olive Branch Tree Pokemon. Nice. I definitely don't have this Pokemon now. Is Wing Girl a cool Pokemon? Arguably, no, it's pretty basic, but the shiny version is green, which is kind of cool. And I don't have this card, so pretty hyped, that's really awesome. And Trash, that's what I'm talking about, guys. Good vibes, people, good vibes, what I'd like to see. Hell yes. I actually shot this video, this ASMR video, a few days ago. And I messed the whole thing up. Luckily, I was only about eight packs into one box, and I bought so many doubles. And I was just like, "This is, this is just garbage." And I actually had to trash the video because I wasn't showing the cards on the screen properly. What I'm saying is, sometimes you have some downs, and if you just wait long enough, things come back up. Thank you guys for watching. I do really appreciate you coming and joining this experience with me and letting me share this experience with you. Now, yes, I am just a 29-year-old guy opening up colored bits of cardboard while doing ASMR on the internet. But I'm having a good time, and I hope you are as well. Let us continue. Just trying to spread those positive vibes. Pack number seven.
groove me baby okay now here's the thing some trash has a different texture it is not groovy but it has a different texture and it has got me in the past and it ain't getting me today you sir are a lying piece of trash <laughs> don't I know it which is kind of sad because it means I have done this multiple times and been tricked multiple times a fool me once a shame on you fool me twice Crazy stabby fish. Mimikyu solo boat, great art. Sprigatito. That's really cute. I saw it in the screen on the camera and I wasn't expecting it to be that cute looking at it up close. Holy crap, that's actually a really cute card. And your boy, 90. 90% sure he doesn't have it. Damn, that's cute. It's trash, but... Nice. Okay. Let me sleep this bad boy up. Just have a little double check. Nice, new card. And I got something else that's kind of cool to show you. I have the shiny version of all three of the starter Pokemon from Scarlet and Violet, which is pretty cool. They're so cute. Nice. Last packet of box number one. shiny cards, three new ones. 
I give that box a solid 7. No, 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 that's way too high. 6.5 out of 10, that was solid. All right. Let us move on to box number two. to see if it's a good one or not. I think we got a good one, people. I actually have really good vibes from this box. I don't know why. My vibes are usually pretty accurate. Let's put them to the test. I got a good feeling. Daddy, come home. Your son's waiting for you. Oh, Clive. Do come back to me, sweet, sweet Clive. Or a mew. Both are welcomed with open arms. Pack number one. Alrighty. Ponyhead. Psychic Bird Gravestone Dog Scizor, pretty cool Pokemon, very popular Okay, Child Snatching Balloon, alright, first pack so stupid. I don't know why I got so optimistic. I just thought, new box, first pack, great vibes. But I was wrong. Alright, I'll be honest, I'm starting to get a little bit nervous. A little, I'm losing a little bit of confidence in my, in my vibe sensor. But I'm, sh I'm sure it'll be fine. Pack number two. shiny olive. The only thing is, I I can't remember if I have this or not. Let's check the last card just in case it's good as well. Three, two, one. Okay, trash monster. I'll sleeve this bad boy up. Don't you be there. Little olive baby, don't you be there. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Wham! New card, baby. Pack number three. All right, here we go. Sweet olive girl. That was that. Oh, like Luxio. Charmeleon. It's like Ice Godzilla Dragon. Infernape. Snova and three, two, one. Be gentle with the grooves. Because this one's going to be a groovy. Damn it. <laughs> it's like you can't even see what the hell it is, man. Look at this card. Tell me you know what that is. I mean, I know what it is because I played the games. But look at this card and tell me you can see what even the hell is going on. T R A S H. T R A S H. Yes, trash. Sorry. I thought I misspelled it for a second, but ain't no way I'm gonna misspell trash. Back number four. Here we go. Got Quax. 
Huxley, Riolu, it is a curlier, wiggly tuff. Oh, it's like the big lake monster that eats the sushi. Well, excuse you, that is a shiny drift bloom, and your boy 70% sure, no, I'm 90% sure I don't have it. And also, it's actually a really cool shiny. The regular one is purple, this is gold, and that's quite a nice color change. Now let's just check the next card, just in case you never know. Ain't even worth checking. Do a double check just in case. Safe. That's what I'm talking about. Two shinies, two new cards. Hell yeah, I told you this box gave good vibes. Pack number five. Godzilla Dragon, Sneevil, Bormy, Psychic Dung Beetle, Bormit, Pelipa, Pelipa, bring, bring him home, bring Clive home, he wants to come back, he just got lost along the way, that's all. You'll help him. Three, two, one. It's cried on. Let's just move on before the sadness really starts to sink in. Pack number six. So let's keep moving forward. Pack number seven. Here we go, people. We got the dung beetle. We have goofy crocodile. We have a slow poke. Sorry, I can't see the cards. My eyes suck. Crazy car engine. King Gambit. Minecraft salt dog. And three, two, one. This is it. I got a feeling. Why? Okay, here's the good. 
good news. Every box has like one full art card. Sometimes two, which is crazy. We have yet to pull one. We have three packs left, so that means it's coming up and that's something to look forward to. Positivity. Positivity. Pack number eight.
but if you guys prefer the old way, then I will find a way to make it work again. Also, if you guys have any other suggestions that you'd like to make for future ASMR videos, like for example, like, no, like, nothing weird, like, don't make me, like, lick my hands or something like that, I don't want to lick anything, and I don't want to eat anything, except crunchy stuff, because crunchy stuff is kind of funny, but if you, like, for example, you want me to do other nerdy shit, uh, with an ASMR twist, then please let me know, and I'll figure out a way to do it, like, for example, um, building Lego, nah, don't, don't get me into Lego, because I'll fall down the Lego rabbit hole, and we don't want to do that, because I don't have any space to put anything anywhere in this apartment, but yeah, feedback is always welcome. Guys, thank you so much for watching another ASMR vid. I hope you found it relaxing, enjoyable. I hope you enjoyed the pools. And even if you know nothing about Pokemon, it don't really matter. Because we have the emotional ride. If you want to watch more ASMR Pokemon card opening videos like this, I got a whole playlist of them over here. Thanks for watching and see you later.